Where does money come from? Paul had been given a new money box for his birthday. As he put his first coin into it, he asked, When did people start using money? I don't know, but it was probably a very long time ago, said Paul's dad. Let's look it up on the internet after breakfast. They were sitting in front of the computer when Paul's dad asked, What do you think they used for money a long time ago? Maybe paper and metal, said Paul. Finally, the search page for the internet came up on screen. Paul's dad typed in the words, History of Money. Here we are, said Paul's dad. It says that in China, cowrie shells were used as a form of money. They were used more than 3,000 years ago. Later, the Chinese made metal versions of the cowrie shell. It is believed that other cultures used objects made from metal as well. They were often in the shape of things that were used every day. Paul continued reading. The first coins were made in Lydia more than 2,500 years ago. They were made from a mix of silver and gold. They had designs on them and looked like beans. Over time, the design and shape of coins developed into what we use today. As people began to trade, the use of coins developed and spread. Other metals, such as bronze and gold, were also used. Early coins have famous people, animals, and buildings on them. These coins have helped us learn about the history of ancient cultures. Look here, said Paul's dad. All these cultures used different things as a form of money. Ancient Greeks used iron nails before coins. Some African countries even used salt. What do you think about that? Paul could not imagine people carrying those kinds of things around to go shopping. What about banknotes, Dad? asked Paul. Where did they come from? I think China replied his dad. But let's look it up to make sure. His dad was right. Pieces of white leather were first used as banknotes. The Chinese decorated them with beautiful colors and used them to buy goods. Sometime before the 10th century, the Chinese started using paper money. This was the first true form of the banknotes that we use today. The Chinese stopped using this money in the 15th century. Several centuries later, paper money began to be used in Europe. Is money the same in every country? asked Paul. No, said his dad. Most countries use money but their coins and banknotes look different. They are different colors and sizes and have different names. We still use pictures of animals, flowers, buildings, and famous people to decorate our money. Just like in ancient times, said Paul. Today, we also use new forms of money, like credit cards and bank cards said Paul's dad. We use these instead of coins and banknotes. I wonder what money will look like in the future, said Paul. Maybe we will only use cards and electronic forms on computers, replied his dad.